Everyone's so happy. So happy. everyone you're very welcome back to a new vlog a new video i'm here in ireland this is my first kind of vlog that i'm filming for today <laughs> today's gonna be very fun i'm taking you guys to a castle very exciting this is one of my favorite places to go I have not been here in a few years i did take ashton here uh 2019 i think but Prior to that, haven't been here for a while, but this is somewhere that we used to go quite a bit as kids. So I've been here multiple times. I'm excited to go again today. It's kind of a happy place. It's just so fun, brings back a lot of memories. So we're heading to Bunratty Castle, which is down in Clare. So we have a little bit of a drive today, an hour and a half roughly uh, from where I am in Mayo. So we're gonna head off. I'm gonna take you with me. I'm so excited. <laughs> Don't forget to leave a like on the video. Comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already. Let's go to a castle. Let's go down to the dungeon. Oh god. Max is being really careful. Oh my god, this is terrifying. Never gets old. So this is Bunratty Castle, built about 600 years ago, roughly, and uh, really enjoyed walking around in there, went up to the top and looked out, whoops, looked out uh, from the top and amazing. So much history, a lot of bloody history. I did a little bit of reading last night. The seventh Viscount Gort purchased it during the 50s. He purchased it for £2,000 and did it up, restored it in the 50s and then it was given back to the people of Ireland and now Shannon Heritage run it and uh, look after it and people can come and 
take a look, check it out. It's beautiful, gorgeous. If you're in Ireland, you have to come here. It's one of the best kept restored castles in the country. So highly recommend Bonratty Castle. Never heard that before. This is an old post office. How cute is this? Notice how the post box is red, not green, because British rule at the time. Now the next day, Bonratti was amazing yesterday. I had such a lovely day. It did me a lot of good, honestly. Being very, very honest, I needed that. Fresh air, time with family, the whole lot. I loved it. So fun to go back there again. So I'm so glad it worked out this time because we have tried to do that the last couple of times. It hasn't worked out, but yeah, all good. So it's actually the next day. I've been here a week at this point, which is hard to believe. That time has flown by so quickly, but also I've just really enjoyed each day. So that's been really nice. At the moment, right now, I'm heading to England. <laughs> so I'm getting on another plane in, we're leaving in like 30 minutes. So heading to England just for a couple of nights. My sister's coming with me and we're just going to have a couple nights uh, staying with my auntie and it's going to be fun. Literally just hopping over to see my family over there and uh, then we'll be back here again and I still have a few more days here at home so that's gonna be fun. I might film a little bit on the way to England. I unfortunately have an aisle seat <laughs> so I won't be able to film the takeoff and the landing in England which is a little disappointing but uh, it's fine. The flight is so quick it's less than an hour so it's kind of not even any point in uh, you know it's just gonna be so fast. Maybe on the way home uh, we'll see. Hopefully I'll get a window seat. Heading off to England now. Uh, so we're going to drive to Knock Airport and fly into East Midlands. So let's go.
everyone. So that last clip you saw was a beautiful walk I went on with uh, my sister and auntie and uncle. It was so nice. A little village called Tansley, I believe. It was gorgeous. Really, really nice. Really enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed watching it. I've just been filming little bits. I haven't been uh, doing a whole lot of filming, just when I can. But that was actually yesterday, so... Uh, tonight is actually last night in England for this trip, so we're heading back tomorrow, back to Ireland for a few more days before I head back to the States, so just wanted to check in. Hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. I'm having a blast here in England, having a great time. It's nice to see some family and just kind of take a breather. And uh, yeah, me and my sister went up to Tesco today. We went for a little walk into the nearby village and I picked up a snack that I haven't had in years, years. I forgot these, these were even a thing. And I used to love these when I was a kid, Watsits. But I've actually realized that they're the crunchy version. So they're not quite what I thought they were. I didn't realize it till I opened them earlier. They're actually more like what Cheetos are in America. What's it crunchy? As you can see, they look more like what Americans know to be Cheetos. But for us, Cheetos are like, cheese puffs so that's what i remember you know usual what's the word i'm looking for normal regular what's it's being <laughs> so i'm a little disappointed that they're not quite what i remember but they still they still taste kind of like them so i'm enjoying my what's it's gonna chill out for the rest of the night and head back to ireland tomorrow i'm gonna pick up uh filming again tomorrow when we're heading back to mayo all right good night last morning in England. Uh, we're heading to the airport kind of shortly in a couple hours but first of all we're going to head to the local tea rooms. Yeah we're gonna head to Hobbycraft as well just to have a little look around. So I'm gonna take you along and then we're heading back home to Ireland. <clears throat> Let's go. back from England as you can see they fairly flung us down onto the runway <laughs> but we're back it was such a nice few days really really enjoyed it just got to see some family and catch up chat go for walks go for tea so much fun really really enjoyed England back in Ireland now and kind of on I hate to say on the countdown to going back but I am in my uh, last couple of days here so like i always do soaking it up having fun spending time i really needed this trip without like going into too much detail i just i've kind of had a hard like the end of the year i found quite hard just completely mentally it was all on the inside i just was kind of having a hard time and i feel like i just needed to get here like that's that's literally what has helped so I've kind of slowly felt my mind being a bit lighter. I've slowly felt a bit happier. And now that I'm kind of at this point, I just, even in the last couple of days, I've just completely turned a corner. I feel like a different person to a month ago. It's so weird. I can't even really fully explain it. I just think being here, being where I'm from, it like helps me like fill the cup back up. I'm so excited to go back to LA. Like less, 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 yes. 
Oh, I was trying to say like yes, and I said less. Okay, anyway. Yes, I am dreading leaving and I don't, you know, I'm not looking forward to the goodbyes again, but I'm also just like, I'm just feeling really happy at the minute. Feeling so happy, feeling so refreshed, feeling so light. And it's made me like really excited to get back to Ashton and Odie and get back to life over there, get back to dancing, get back to music and videos. And I've so much video to edit at this point, but I'm just so excited about it all. I just can't wait to get back and really like embrace the new year, embrace 2024. And yeah, just, I don't know. I'm just feeling really happy at the minute and I hope it continues. Long may this feeling last. I just, I don't know, I just had such a hard end of the year. December was just really tricky for me. I just didn't feel great in myself and now I just, I just turned a corner. I feel so happy, so excited and yeah, so I'm determined to enjoy my last couple of days here and trying not to get sad because I am excited to go back. So yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos so far. Um, I will probably film a little bit more before I leave and I'll probably film going back too because that actually vlogging kind of weirdly helps. It's kind of a nice distraction from uh, traveling and goodbyes and stuff. I actually find vlogging is actually quite helpful, which sounds kind of weird, <laughs> but it's kind of a nice distraction to uh, to kind of film little parts of the journey. So I'm probably going to do that. Um, so yeah, I'll probably check back in tomorrow and we'll see what tomorrow brings. So it's my last night in Ireland as I'm filming this. I know in the last clip I said I'm going to film a bunch more things uh, before the trip ends, but unfortunately didn't work out. Um, I was going to head out today and do some filming. We were going to do a beach walk today, which I normally do while I'm here. So if you watch my vlogs the last while, couple years at least, you'll know that I usually do the Enniscrown walk, beach walk, but did not, uh, we actually, we drove over there today, got as far as Ballina, which is probably 20 minutes from the beach, and it was just like this layer of thick cloud, fog, rain descended that wasn't here, like at home. It was like, it just traveled across the Atlantic and slowly like just encompassed the whole county <laughs> so it started off really nice here so we were like oh my gosh let's go off let's do a beach walk it's gonna be so nice it'll be nice to get out for a few hours enjoy the final day and the more we drove to the coast the wetter and worse weather it got so we ended up just turning around coming back we were gonna we did a walk instead uh more locally here but by the time we actually got out walking the rain cloud had come in this far so Weather was not on our side today for the last uh, day, unfortunately, but it's been a very nice day. Still went out for a walk, took the umbrellas, got to, you know, still chat and stuff. So it was really very loud, 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 very loud cars, very loud cars. <laughs> so I'm heading back to LA in the morning, leaving at about eight o'clock tomorrow morning so I'm pretty much packed up at this point it's still quite early in the evening even though it's dark it's still early I just want to get like packed up so I can enjoy the last night I think we're just gonna have some dinner soon and just chill out enjoy the final night together for now I'm hoping to be back soon but yeah it's been such a nice trip I just feel 
so much better. I know I kind of talked about this already, but I just feel so much better. I always dread leaving, always. It's always so hard. I'm dreading the goodbyes, but I'm also equally excited to get back. I feel so like bursting with ideas and just, ah, I can't wait to get back into music and start recording stuff and making more videos. And yeah, I'm so excited. So yeah, so I'm going to enjoy the last night and uh, heading to the airport tomorrow. I'll probably vlog. Vlogging's a nice distraction, I have learned. So I will probably vlog a little bit of my journey back, some of the flight and stuff. So we'll see. Uh, my flight is tomorrow afternoon from Dublin. So I got to leave here like eight o'clock so that I can, it's like a three hour drive to Dublin and uh, then obviously be at the airport in time for all the stuff and uh, taken off just after 3 p.m. and I will be landing in LA at about 6 p.m. time difference. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm as always kind of dreading the travel but it'll be fine. I'm just feeling good, I'm feeling happy, I'm just choosing to not focus too much on the sad and just be excited and I just, yeah, I just this feeling I have right now, I just want to keep it forever. <laughs> I'm just choosing to be positive and to be happy and to look on the bright side. Everything is good. Life is good. Everything is good. And I'm happy. I'm going to go enjoy the very last night, my last night sleeping in this bed for a little while. And yeah, like I said, I'll be back soon. But I'm going to go enjoy the last night and I will film a little bit tomorrow of my travels heading back to L.A. <laughs> So I'm back and I made it back in one piece. By the way, how gorgeous was that sunrise? I think that's the most spectacular sunrise I've ever seen in my entire life. That was at about eight in the morning. My dad was driving me back to Dublin airport and oh my gosh, the two of us were absolutely astounded. <laughs> I took so much video of that sunrise because I'd never seen anything like it before. Also, if you have been watching my vlogs recently in the last few months, you'll remember that, well, you'll probably remember that I never did get to that sunset on Venice Beach. So maybe a future vlog in the coming months, hopefully that will work out. But I think that sunrise kind of made up for it. I'm glad I captured it. I'm glad I get to show it to you and put it in this vlog. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed filming it and putting it together. And of course, I enjoyed my time at home and I look forward to the next time. So stay tuned if you do love any type of vlog I do, but my Ireland vlogs, next time I go home, I'll film some more. So let me know in the comments, what kind of things would you like to see when I'm at home? More scenic Ireland stuff? Let me know, maybe I can 
try and work something out based on your suggestions and go film specific places. More videos on the way. It's been a little while since I posted a cover song, so I want to get some more cover songs up for you since I absolutely love doing my cover songs. So some of those are coming very soon. Also more videos like this where I just sit down and talk about something music related. If you would like to see a video of me talking about Paul McCartney's long lost bass that was recently found, or a video of me giving my thoughts on the new Beatles song, Now and Then. I will link those both in the description or you can click here as well to check them out. If you would like to support me further, I have a Patreon, I have a YouTube membership community, and I also have a merch store all linked below. Please go check them out if you would like to. I would really appreciate it. Of course, never expected or required. If you do decide to support me further, I post members only content. You also get access to a private live stream that I do every month where I can actually read the chat and it feels like a really nice little hangout and I can answer questions and it's a really fun little place. You also get your name in the credits of my videos as an extra thank you for supporting me. Also check out my merch store which have lots of music and Irish inspired designs. I greatly appreciate anyone who decides to support. If you don't want to do that that's totally fine just please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Also leave me a comment and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye!